Anthropic CEO recently said that 50% of the entry level jobs are going to be replaced by AI. Salesforce CEO has said that he's not going to have for coding jobs anymore. Microsoft CEO has said that 30% of the code is written by AI. It's all AI, AI, AI in 2025. And the same thing happened in my current company. So in this video, I'll show you how tools like Gemini and Cursor are actually transforming how data analysts and data engineers like me actually work. If you ever wondered how working with AI actually looks like and want to see it in live action and stick around, this video is for you. My name is Sandeep and it's good to see you after a very, very long time. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I talk about data analytics, masters in US, job search, and I am planning to do more AI related videos in the future. Comment below if you are really interested in all these AI related videos. If you are in any coding related role like software engineering, software development or data analytics and data science, then obviously like you would be having a main ID that you'd be using like VS Code or PyCharm. That was the norm, but not anymore. So in the last one year, there have been like few AI powered coding editors like Cursor and Windsurf and GitHub Copilot that have been dominating the market. My company in my current role, I use cursor i cannot just imagine a world where there is no cursor and i cannot go back to vs code anymore i i strongly feel cursor is the best among all this ai powered id i, I would say that currently in my role almost 50 percent of my code is now written by cursor and ai benefits are really huge now, now the ai is writing the code i can finally focus more on problem solving and coming up with solutions to business problems validating and testing the code that is written by AI. i'll just quickly walk you through cursor and i'll show you all the features that i currently use my role so if you look at this cursor UI, it looks exactly like VS Code. You're not wrong in thinking about that. Cursor is just forked out of VS Code and all the features have been built on top of it. So that's why the UI looks a lot simpler. Cursor has access to all your code base that you have in a project. It indexes it in such a way that it's just lighting quick. First one is the cursor asks mode. It's basically like a chatbot, like a chat GPT or back inside cursor. The way I use cursor ask mode is like if I have any doubts or questions about a code, or if I am inheriting someone else's code and I want to just understand how it works, and then I can ask cursor to explain that to me. Like I'm a beginner and I don't know anything about the code. The most coolest feature of cursor is, is this autocomplete feature, which is called as cursor tab. Cursor, as I said, cursor has an understanding of the entire code base inside the project. Now, if I'm trying to write any code on the UI, it has the entire context of the code so it knows what is before the line what is after the line and based on that it predicts what I'm going to type it's just mind-blowing that it is like 60 to 70 percent accurate in most of the times and in one of the recent podcasts that I saw from the founders of Cursor he mentioned that they have custom models trained just to do this autocomplete and prediction of the next line of code what I'm writing these models are like built for low latency and high speed and accuracy the next one is the Cursor agent mode which is again the next coolest feature of Cursor and here is where you're going to run into existential crisis because you just ask it to write an entire file or to ask it to edit the code that you have based on the instructions that you give or you give in like certain screenshots and ask it to implement the code and it just does it for you right in front of your eyes and that too like within a minute another important feature that i have been using a lot is the documentation feature so i work a lot with apis like slack jira confluence or google and all that i can basically upload the official api docs into cursor once i add the link it just indexes that and keeps it if you want to ask any question i don't need to go to the website and take few minutes or hours to look through it i can just ask cursor and it retrieves the information so fast you can ask it to implement that feature into the existing code the other cool thing i would have say is like i'm a data analyst or data engineer or data scientist if i want to build a ui for something then i can easily ask cursor to do it of course i can do something with streamlit which is like more python based but if I want a better looking UI, which is more flexible and it has more features, like for example, like a React UI, can ask Cursor to implement it for me. Gemini is the next AI tool that I've been using a lot. So if Cursor is more like a coding assistant for me, Gemini is more like a general purpose assistant for me. But some of the use cases in my current work right now, documentation and summarization. So of course, writing code and building code and building solutions is one part of it. The other part is like documenting stuff which actually takes hours and hours of time. And with Gemini, we can just do it within minutes. And also we can give, give a big piece of information and then ask it to summarize. Like for example, like if you're making a presentation or something, you want to summarize the key points, then that's where Gemini can come in to help. The other use case is like if I'm writing an email or if I'm writing a Slack message where there are like a lot of senior management people and I want to be very, very careful with what I'm writing, make sure I go through Gemini first. And that's when I'm confident that, okay, this message is good enough to be sent to the management. The other cool feature I have been using later is the deep research feature i'm building a new architecture for a data platform if i want to build a new data pipeline i want to know what's the best way to do it or best tools to use i can ask gemini to like 
go and do a deep research on the topic and then it comes up with a solution like within 10-15 minutes and the other thing what I have been using we have certain files or PDFs and I want to do certain analytics on it and I can feed in all that information into Gemini and ask it to do a deep research on that and it comes up with a draft or documentation that I can basically use for my analysis let's say it's basically more like an intern or like a junior data analyst that actually works along with me and the next one is MCP which is a short form for model context protocol Anthropic is the company which came up with the platform for MCP and the way they describe us it's the USB-C for AI within cursor or within any AI power ID you can actually plug in to any kind of tools like Figma, Jira, Confluent, Google, Snowflake, SQL Server you basically use all these tools like an API so I have a MCP server for Snowflake and SQL Server which are the main databases and data warehouses that I've been using so if I have any simple query or simple question then I no longer need to go and write the queries actually and again, I can just ask cursor in plain natural language and it's just going to come up with like queries automatically and it will run the queries against the databases and then fetch the information for us. I also connect to the company's Jira board so I have access to all the tickets that I'm working on, all the tickets that I have worked on and like if you want to update the descriptions for it or add some new comments or update the status of the tickets or if I have a ticket in hand, I want to get all the related tickets that I have worked in the past, then cursor can help with that. The another cool use case which I've been using a lot is Confluence which is where we document all the stuff. I can can keep working hours and hours on any kind of technical stuff but i need to make sure that it is documented documentation is something which i keep postponing but now with cursor so if i'm developing something and building something since cursor has access to the code base and now it also has a mcp for confluence i can just ask cursor to document that code for me in confluence so now you'll be saying like enough of all this talk do you think yes yeah, really going to replace you as a data analyst or data engineer i have seen both sides of the argument so there are like two sides of the same coin one is the optimistic look and one is the pessimistic look i'm just going to give both the outlooks and then you can decide for yourself. So the pessimistic outlook is something like this. Recently, the Anthropic CEO Dario said that in the next few years, AI is going to replace almost half of the entry-level white-collar job. So he's saying like all the companies will just stop hiring overnight and then like start replacing them with AI. And also recently in one of the podcasts, I heard the Salesforce CEO saying that almost 30 to 50% of coding related stuff is done by AI. He clearly said that he's not going to hire any more coders. So now let's see the optimistic one. Sam Altman is clearly saying that he doesn't worry about the future of jobs because just like the industrial revolution or agricultural revolution will always find new jobs and new careers. Also Sundar Pichai in his podcast with Lex Seedman said that almost 30% of the code in Google is currently written by AI and it has led to a 10% increase in engineering velocity. As people are using AI more, it's generating a lot of productivity and output. And so his argument is that Google is going to end up hiring more people because it's going to increase productivity and engineering velocity even more. And one more important statement came from the Microsoft founder Bill Gates who said that even if AI replaces so many jobs, coding is something that AI cannot and will not replace. I will let you pick whatever side you want to pick. If you're someone who's really interested in data and want to get into data analytics or data engineering, then please check out this video which gives you the courses that is going to really help you to kickstart your career or level up your skills. I'll see you soon in another video. Another bye from Sandeep.